Hello, Test Pilot Monkey here. Since it's the 30th anniversary of the ZX Spectrum, here's a quick look at a series of games that appeared on it, the Horus series. It started off with Hungry Horus, which is a clone of sorts of Pac-Man, though it does have a few different layouts. In this game, Horus gets chased by some weird disembodied faces, only catching a break when he picks up a bell, which acts somehow like a power pill. You don't have to collect all the dots on the level, only get to the exit. However, if you're going for score, it's probably better to get them all. After Horace is jaunt around a maze, we got... Horace Go Skiing! In Horace Go Skiing, Horace goes skiing. The first level is like Frogger, where Horace recklessly scampers across a busy motorway. After endangering his life just to get a pair of skis, he then crosses back over the dangerous road to get to the ski slope. The skiing section is fairly straightforward, no surprises here, though if you do crash into a tree, you may break your skis and have to put Horace in danger of being run over again, possibly by an ambulance. And why does he have to pay for the ambulance to pick him up? Well, I suppose, considering he pays them in dollars, I assume the NHS is not an option for him. After Horace's little skiing holiday, he fights some spiders in Horace and the Spiders, or Horace and the Spider, as it says on the title screen. For the first level, Horace has to jump a spider. On the higher waves of this, he has to jump over a few and scale a rather angular-looking hill. Second level, Horace uses the spider's threads to swing over a huge ravine. You can easily beat this section by continuously hammering the up button until the end. For a third level, Horace has to stamp through the spider's webs to make holes for them to fall into, where he can then stamp on their bodies and cause them to fall to their deaths. If Horace is ever hit by a spider, he has to give himself a shot of spider serum, and when he runs out of that, he decides to walk away and stop bothering the poor spiders. Then, there's this other game, called Horace in the Mystic Woods. It wasn't written by the original author, so it's not really canon. However, it was recently ported over from the Scion 3 series of palm top machines, whatever they are, to the ZX Spectrum. So it's technically a Horace game on the Spectrum. Horace hasn't been seen much as of late. Though, considering he lived fast, he probably died young and left a really weird-looking corpse.